project. While editing with Final Cut, you have likely seen the terms library, event, clip, and project. They are generic terms, but in Final Cut, they each refer to something specific. The terms create a hierarchy. At the top, represented by this icon with four stars, is a Final Cut library. Each library contains at least one event. Yes, libraries can have multiple events. However, while you are first learning Final Cut, I recommend sticking with a single event. The event contains clips and projects. Media, including video, photos, music, and audio, are all represented as clips in Final Cut. You, as the editor, are going to make choices on how those clips are mixed on a timeline. That timeline is a project, and like clips, you can have multiple projects saved in an event. In a sentence, Apple describes a project as a record of your editing decisions and the media you use. To create a new project, click File, New Project, or use Command N. Set the initial settings for the project. Please name your project here. Adding a name that makes sense will help you stay organized. While you are getting used to the terminology, it can help to add the word project to the name. As we saw earlier, each project is saved in an event. Use the In Event dropdown to select which event the new projects should be saved. If your environment calls for it, adjust the starting time code. Click Use Custom Settings if you need the project to have specific properties. If not, stick with the automatic settings. The video and audio properties are then set based on the first clip added to the project. Click OK to create the project. Projects are displayed across the lower half of the Final Cut Pro interface. This area is called the timeline. Start editing by adding clips to the project. The bar running across the timeline includes the name of the current project. Remember that each project is saved in an event. Choose File, Reveal Project in Browser to see which event the current project is saved. Open a project by double-clicking on it. Use the library smart collection called Projects to see a list of all of the projects in a library. With a project selected, use the Info Inspector to view and modify project details, or make a copy of a project by going to the Edit menu and choose Duplicate Project. Duplicate Project as Snapshot is a great option for creating a backup. The duplicated snapshot automatically adds the current date and time to the name of the project. To summarize, as you edit clips in the timeline, a record of those editing decisions is saved as a project. Create a new project using Command N or File New Project. That project is stored in an event, and that event is stored in a library. Use the library smart collection called Projects to view all projects in a library. Use the Info Inspector to modify the selected project properties. Double-click a project to view it in the timeline. Right-click or use the Edit menu to duplicate a project to create a new version or a backup. And when it's all done, use the Share menu to export the project. What is the name of your current project? Leave it down in the comments. I hope it's not Untitled Project 1.